Hey, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. I want to talk about Vectrols today. What's a Vectrol? Well, a Vectrol is a very simple device made up of an LED which is physically coupled to an LDR. So a light emitting diode physically coupled to a light dependent resistor. Here's a commercial one. See, it's encapsulated with this black stuff so that the light doesn't leak uh, either in or out. Basically, the idea is that by lighting the LED, you reduce the resistance on the LDR. So it's a way to create a voltage controlled or current controlled, actually, resistor, which you can use for many different things. On this exercise today, we're going to actually make a low pass gate, a very simple passive low pass gate. It's something like the uh, Buchla equivalent of a VCA. This of course is a very simplified version, but it works really nicely, it's very clean. Uh, passive circuits are generally very clean, there's not a lot of noise that gets added when something's passive. Passive means that it doesn't take any power, it doesn't require power to work. So the only power that we're going to use for this is the actual CV, the actual control voltage. So let's, let's put this together. I have a little jack here that I've already pre-soldered some little legs and I'm going to connect you know, the ground leg to ground strip here and the signal leg to a node on my strip board and the LED is also going to go on the ground, the negative to the ground node and it's going to go to a free node as well. Now the thing here, why didn't I connect it directly? Because you normally wouldn't want to connect an LED directly to any sort of uh, power source because basically you're shorting, creating a short circuit and you basically burn the LED. So always use a resistor, it's a current limiting resistor. And that's also going to define the uh, response of the LED as well. So if, if it's too low a resistor, the LED might go full brightness before it should, meaning like with little voltage. Or if you put too much resistance, maybe you know, even with the top voltage, it won't light all the way. So you have to kind of find a resistor that goes well with the control voltage that you're using and the LED that you're using for the homemade Vactrol. We're not going to use the industrial Vactrol today. We're going to use a homemade one. We're going to make one with the LDR and the LED. So now I have the NOCOS here and have, um, have the clock triggering an envelope in the contour circuit. So we're going to connect that to here. I'm going to watch that LED light up. Why didn't it light up? Something is not quite well connected here. Ah, of course, I had the wrong polarity on the LED. So There you go. Right now I have a slow attack on the contour generator and a fast decay. You can uh, switch that up so it's the opposite. So There you go. Fast attack, short decay. Let's make that decay even shorter. Let's see. Now what happens with LEDs is they have a little bit of a response time. So if you, if you make the envelope too short, it doesn't actually have time to light up enough, so that's probably not the snappiest response in the world, but it's it's pretty cool for something that's so cheap and passive and easy to do. It's a no-brainer to have a couple of these in your system. Now let's uh, make the Vactrol. So I've set this up with my helping hand here. Basically it's just the LED held by one of the alligator clips and the LDR is held by the other one and I tried to line them up so they're facing each other most directly that I could. And here's a little bit of thermal fit. So the thermal fit is what we're going to use to optically seal them. So I'm going to cover both components with the thermal fit. Try to leave a little bit of uh, extra on both ends because we're going to actually squeeze those and make a seal. I have a lighter here. I'm just going to go ahead. You can use a uh, Hot air gun if you got that. I just use the good old lighter. And see, I can already see the shape of the components now. It's the, the thermal fit is squeezed enough. Now while the thermal fit's still hot, I use these pliers to squeeze the thermal fit and make a seal. So once you fold down the legs, then you get a very good seal, so no extraneous light gets into your LDR, only the LED will affect the LDR. 
So there it is, it's a homemade Vectoral. As you can see, it's not any bigger than, it's even skinnier than the industrial one. It, they'll have different, uh, different response times and things like that, you know, but basically it works the same way. So let's look at this now in the context of audio. Let's make our low pass gate. So first, I kept the uh, LED, uh, the positive leg long. That's important so that you know, because once it's encapsulated, you can't really look in there to see what the polarity is. I folded these the wrong way for the position I have things on the breadboard, so I'm gonna fold it the other way again. Here we go. So now, the LED goes exactly the way it was before in our prior experiment. And now, the LDR legs go on two separate nodes on the, on the protoboard. Here we go. So basically we've got our, our CV input here. The positive voltage goes through the, the resistor. This is a 33 kilo ohms resistor. It's what worked well with my LED. The LDR section, we're going to take one of the nodes and connect a capacitor to it and then to ground so and that's going to be our output now i'm going to need to make two more of these little protoboard jacks now to be my audio input and output so i'm just going to do that off camera and uh, we'll get back to doing an audio test of this So here we are, we have the fully assembled passive low pass gate going here. Basically it's the, uh, this is the CV input, the voltage going in here goes through a resistor, lights up the LED in the Vactrol, letting pass the audio which is going into this input and out of this output with a little uh, 10 nanofarads capacitor going from the output to ground which is going to filter out some of the high end so let's plug our sources in this is the contour which is lighting up the led now let's plug in we already have this plugged into a speaker the output plugged into a speaker so i'm going to plug the audio input into here and we should be able to hear the low pass gate working all right so let's Short, short decay, longer decay. There you go. Short attack. That's it. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.